Hey guys, how's it going? It is Smalls, and I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos like these where I introduce new games for you guys to play. It's been about a month, but in today's video, we are going to be talking around about an adventure roguelike called The Way Home. So first, we're going to talk about gameplay, then monetization, and then my personal opinions about the game. So first, let's go into gameplay. So the gameplay is very simple. It's basically like how most other roguelikes go, where it's different rooms, and the higher you go, the harder the enemies are. And it's not your typical roguelike. Once you die, you lose about 60% of your resources. You don't lose 100%, which kind of sucks. But I feel like this is more meant to be a casual roguelike, which I don't personally mind. But I wish there was a difficulty setting where if you died, you would lose everything. Or if you died, you wouldn't lose everything. I personally wish they would do that. But the gameplay is very fun and very simple and also very casual. And the controls are actually very simple. All you have to do is either drag your finger or tap your screen. And it's very simple to where you can really only play with one finger. You can play with more, maybe just two, but sometimes in case your phone is very big, you might have to play with two fingers. But if your phone is small and you have a big hand, you shouldn't struggle. You should basically be able to play this game with just one finger. And how most roguelikes do it is that you can equip a lot of items into your character. Things like armor and accessories and etc. But one thing that they also do to try to switch things up is that every once in a while you will be able to equip a ability to your character which allows them to progress even faster and just helps your character do a little bit better just so you can get to the very last floor and most gameplay runs are about 10 minutes long so you shouldn't really spend a long time playing this game and for example let's say you leave the game you can come back to it and play the exact same run and i don't feel this game is the type of game that you really want to grind out as i didn't find it as replayable but some other people might disagree so i just want to say that for me i didn't find it as replayable i just personally played it in short bursts so whenever i was out of town or i was waiting for someone this game is the perfect thing to play while you're just sitting down chilling just waiting for someone to pick you up and also the game tries to switch it up in terms of gameplay by including new environments new enemies and even new types of music and i really like that and it honestly changes the whole theme of the whole game and for example when you first start a run you're gonna spawn on the surface so some music is gonna be playing and then as you go deeper the music is gonna get a little bit tense and a little bit darker if you get what i mean and the game is actually very straight to the point and it's very easy to understand so whenever you finish a run all those resources that you collected will be used to build different structures and one other thing that you also are able to unlock so anytime you finish a run or two you will be unlocking an activity point so you can actually use those to unlock new structures that you will be able to build or even upgrade new player abilities and actually let's talk about monetization surprisingly there isn't any type of monetization inside the game and you might be asking how how do they do that how are they able to monetize a game that needs money to make updates and everything now let me explain so whenever you finish the first island and beat the boss and everything a lady's gonna spawn on your island and once you talk to her she was basically gonna tell you this whole story of how you have to pay for the full game and you don't have to actually pay for the game so once you actually say you don't want to play you might think that to play even further or go to the next island you will have to pay like you are going to be forced to pay but actually if you talk to her again she will tell you that you can actually play the game but your game is going to be filled with ads and the ads aren't obstructive whatsoever you can actually skip those ads in five seconds which isn't terrible most ads you can skip after like 30 seconds but this game actually doesn't make them annoying and ads will only show up after a run or before you go into a run but you will have to watch about a few ads just to actually unlock the next island. So once you talk to the lady, she'll be like, oh, you want to watch some ads to unlock the next island? You will have to watch a couple of them because you have to get leaves. And after you watch an ad with the lady, you will get the leaves. But once you go into the next island, before any run, you will be forced to watch an ad. But you can skip that one after five seconds. So it's not a big issue. I definitely think you should try this out. I, I had a lot of fun playing this game. It's super casual. It's not super annoying. It's not super difficult. The first island I beat in under 10 expeditions. And I've already upgraded a few of my player abilities and unlock some buildings i definitely think you should try it out this is probably the funnest game that i've covered on the channel it's very casual i like the fact that you can play this game with only one finger so it's very user friendly it's very straight to the point there's times where like i don't know what to do but you'll figure it out but if you genuinely like this game i would consider to spend those seven dollars to pay for the full game just to support the developers so if you want to definitely consider it but if you didn't i would just go with the ads it's not that intrusive 
is definitely not an issue with the ads i definitely don't mind it because you can skip them very quickly and i also want to say that the sun design for this game is actually pretty good i definitely liked it it's a little bit more relaxing compared to other games i'll definitely give it an a plus right there with the sun design but anyways, I am going to call it there. This review was a bit shorter compared to all my other reviews on this channel. This should just tell you how simple and casual this game is. And it is my 18th birthday today, so make sure to consider subscribing, leaving a like, and leaving a comment down below so more people can find this video. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.